Good afternoon. My name is Malika Sabah. I'm Simone Ray. And I'm Harleen Carr. And we're from Briarwoods High School, Virginia. And we're here to help you with your current situation today. Hi, Mrs. Jones. We're sorry to hear about the unfortunate circumstances that brought you into our bank today. And we'd like to give you some advice so that it doesn't happen in the future and also help you with the next steps that you will have to take. So the first step that we always recommend is notifying, the, notifying your bank, which we have notified you. And that is always the first step that needs to be taken in order to secure your account and money. The second step that we recommend to you is that you identify law enforcement so that the so that the credit um, so that so that the credit company would understand that it is a case of identity theft, and also so that your money cannot be withdrawn any longer. And you should cancel all your credit cards so that in case that the identity theft has any of your inf other information, they cannot a access your other funds. We also recommend that you notify all the three credit score companies so that your credit score is not affected by this fraud situation. The three main credit score companies are TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, and we would recommend that you write individual letters to each one of them to notify them of your situation and so it will not affect your credit score. We also would advise you to make sure that when you get paid, it's wired into a secure account to make sure that your money doesn't get stolen again. And we can also, we noticed that your account had, was, there was more money taken out of it than was in it, so we are able to waive those overdraft fees for you. We would also recommend you get a new PIN number and all new credit cards, you need to cancel your credit cards. And we, as a bank, will send you credit cards in the mail. We'll send you new ones. The FDIC, uh, insures your money in your account up to $250,000, you lost approximately $42,000, so in theory, we should be able to give you all your money back. For the future, to best prevent the situation, we do have a few tips for you. Um, one of them is avoid buying from suspicious street vendors or stores that you do not trust or online shops that don't have a secure connection, which can be verified by looking at the beginning of the URL to see if it has HTTPS representing a secure connection. You must make sure to avoid these websites that don't have this on both your um, phone and your computer. In addition, we recommend changing your password to your checking account or any uh, online banking that you have to have at least six characters, one capital letter, at least one number, and even a symbol for extra protection. In addition, you might want to consider getting a password to protect your mobile phone. and. Um, take, to take additional, additional steps to protect any life insurance you may have for your husband. In addition, you might want to consider getting a credit card that has your picture on the back of it so they can verify that it is you making the purchases. And next, we would also recommend that you get a new checking account so you can put your funds into that for temporary purposes or permanent if you wish. And also for your payroll, if you are on one, we recommend that you contact your employer to have it wired into an account that you feel is secured so your funds cannot be broken, so you may pay your bills. And in conclusion, we'd like to say that the next steps that we recommend you take is that you cancel all your credit cards so that the identity theft cannot overdraft any more money from your accounts, that you also identify law enforcement if any other any other instances um, tend to occur, and also that you notify the credit score companies so that your credit score is not affected for future purposes. And we'd like to thank you for giving your time, and we are sorry for your situation. So we'd like to ask, is there any other questions that you may have for us?